He's going the wrong way, or she's going the wrong way. I don't know who's going the wrong way, but somebody's going the wrong way. <laughs> What's going on guys? Hope you are having a great day out there today guys. We have returned for another speed run with the Arma Limitless. We're going to start this thing off again right like we did last time. We're going to run this thing on 6S first, make a few passes on it, get comfortable with the car. We've returned back to our nice spot here. We got a nice really wide two lane road. It's pretty long. Got ton of, tons of room. So Trevor, along for the ride again today. He's going to stand up on the truck bed because we're not going to cut his legs off with this thing. <laughs> but guys, we're going to run this thing on 6,000 milliamp, 120C power hobby lipo. And now uh, we've got the GRP tires on this thing. Really like these things get nice and hot and sticky, and they stick to the road really well. So we're going to run this on this, make a few passes on the 6S, and then we're going to move on to the dual 4S and run this thing on 8S, hopefully. No crashes today. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're going to get the, everything linked up here. Going to run this thing on the radio link radio. Been really liking that radio. It's got good range, really good response time. But anyway, guys, got this thing ready to roll. Going to get the GPS fired up. Take her out for a rip. So stay tuned, guys. Also, guys, we did remove all of the uh, extra aerodynamic stuff on it now. I cut down the rear spoiler quite a bit. Um, pretty much all of it is gone and got rid of the ones on the front. So should help with the aerodynamics and make this thing a little bit faster. But uh, we're going to run a couple times on 6S now and uh, see what she's got. I got the GPS tracking. So let's give her a rip here. Hopefully I don't get the... Uh, microphone caught up in there what what are you doing just making sure you have the stuff ready yes i think i'm ready i got the gps on i think we're actually ready dude all right i'm gonna take it up here i'm gonna stand in the side of the truck you stand up in the truck oh yeah puppy let's give her a rip here on 6s let me know the coast is clear down there whenever i get up looks like she's tracking nice and straight still unlike you <laughs> All right, here we go. Regular. regular. All right, we're going to get her lined up. All right, I think she's ready to go. All right, guys, here goes the first pass on 6S. Stay nice and straight. Now, this battery I did already use in the uh the talon down at the track we just came from the bmx track from doing that stuff but i just wanted to make a few passes and get comfortable with the car uh it definitely seemed like it's been boy i'm carrying along a whole bunch of leaves but uh, definitely been better off starting off on a slower or smaller packs rather than just going full crazy out of the box all right, coast is clear. We're gonna make one more pass and we're gonna bring her in and check and see what we got on it. All right, here she comes. Oh, we got a car coming, better stop. All right, we're gonna bring her back around now. See what we got on the GPS, guys. She's driving nice and straight though, which is definitely a good thing. We're carrying along a bunch of leaves. All right, guys, with well, 91, I'm running it just on a single 6S LiPo here. And uh, she drove nice and straight. The tires got nice and warm and tacky. I'm going to feel the temps here real quick. I am running the uh, Game Changer fan on the motor. I still don't have a heat sink on it. I need to get on this thing. But the motor is nice and cool. No temperatures at all on that, so not a big issue. So, all right, well, we're going to go ahead and chuck the two forests in this thing now and give a rip on the 8S, guys, and see if we can uh, hopefully break my personal best of 114. I'm trying to just get better than that today. And then after this, might start working on some other gearing and seeing what we can get her up to. My final goal for this thing is at least hit you know, around 130 or 140 with this thing. And I know it's capable of it as long as I'm not taking out cornfields, right? <laughs> Nebraska. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to run her on 12 or 8S now. 12S. We were talking about 12S. We're going to take her up to the end up here. Give her a pass. We do have some people coming in a dog further down the road, so we're kind of going to try to get the run in here before they come at least. All right. I think we are lined up and ready to go. All right, guys, here we go. First 8S pass. Ooh, I was a little bit scary there for a second. 
I almost went off the road for a second. It was kind of pulling to the right a little bit. All right, I'm gonna give her another pass coming this way. Woo! All right, sorry guys, I don't know if I was catching all that on camera or not. All right, we're gonna bring it back down here, check the temps, and see what we got on speeds on that one. Gonna mosey her down here. <laughs> Man, guys, I guess maybe this is all the gearing can do on this thing. I'm not sure, but 114 was it again. It seems to be the top speed on this thing at the moment. Um, the motor, she's a little warm, not terrible, but can't keep your hand on it very long, so I'm going to have to let it cool down here for a few minutes. But uh, everything else, man, the tires got nice and hot, and they're pretty grippy. But I can't get over the 14, so I guess it is time to start working on gearing. Um, I currently have on here a, what is this, a 35 tooth. I do have a 39 um, or 38 at home, so might have to try that on here and start gearing this thing up now. Now that I've got a proper place to run this thing, um, you know, I can start working on the gearing a little bit more and trying to get it a little faster. I'm going to let it cool down here for a few minutes and make one more pass, and then uh, we're going to call it a day, I think. All right, we're going to make one more pass with it. Motor's pretty cool. So we're going to mosey it down that way and give her one more pass again, guys. I think, though, it's time to start gearing this thing up now that I seem like I can get everything out of this um, that it has with this gearing, which seems to be 114 mile an hour. <laughs> so I'm going to take her down as far as I can to get this thing the best run. All right, we're going to turn around. I know. Nobody on camera can probably see it either. All right, coast is clear. <laughs> Here we go. That was a nice... That was a nice pass, guys. Well, I could definitely hear either dry shaft flutter or something going on. I don't know if you guys caught that on the microphone, but man, when she went by pretty close there, it had a, a woof noise to it. All right, we're going to see. Man, I got tons of leaves in this thing every time, tracking half the wild wilderness with me. What are you doing over there? Catching those stones in my eyes. <laughs> All right, guys, man, we finally broke my personal best and hit 116. Only a couple mile an hour more, but that was a nice, long, stretched out pass, too. I took it down a little further than I normally did. But I think we're going to go back up to the old gearing that I started with this thing when I was crashing it constantly before I had a good road. And we're going to put the 39-39 back on. We're going to take the 35s on it now. I don't know if we're going to make another pass or not. <laughs> I don't want to push my luck. We all know how that's happened. But guys, I finally beat my personal best at any rate. But um, I don't know if we're going to make another pass or not. I want to check the temps here real quick, guys, and <laughs> I'll let you know. All right, well, Trevor talked me into making one more pass. I'm satisfied with the fact that we beat the personal best. Finally. And now we're going to gear this thing up and uh, try and get even better. But we'll make one more pass here for today. Sun's almost down. We seem to be running in a lot of traffic for some reason on this road right now, though. It's a dead-end road. I don't know if people are going back there to make out right now or what's going on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't start. All right. I think the oh. coast is clear. All right, we're going to make a pass, guys. That was a nice good one. A nice good one. That was kind of a weird way to say, woo, man. I honestly could almost smell burning tire when that thing went by. All right, I'm gonna let it sit up and wait for this car to pass, guys. I'll bring you guys back in a second. All right, well, now that the traffic has stopped, didn't really want to go crashing into a car. Well, it is the 
A little more foliage on there. Let's see what she's got on that pass. Wow, guys. We just beat it again with 118 on that pass. Now, I am done pushing my luck for the day. We've had some really great clean passes. Um, we're in a lot more traffic there right now, but guys, finally got this thing ripping and just got this thing on a great road. I'm just ecstatic. Finally getting making some good clean passes with this thing and not mowing down cornfields and cutting paths in the grass. So that's a huge plus. <laughs> But guys, that is going to do it for the limos video, you guys. Really stoked. I'm going to continue to gear this thing up. I'm going to grab some more gears. Um, I have some other ones at home, and I might order some more Saga gears. And uh, I'm not going to go too crazy. Probably go up maybe two or three more teeth and make some passes on that and continue to build this thing up and uh, baby steps. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. But until next time, y'all, be safe. Be careful out there. Peace out, everybody.